That might be a pike. There's two of them there. Um, no, that's a. That's one big fish, I think. You got bait on there now? Yep. Okay, good. Big fish. There you go. Freaking right. Freaking right. This is gonna take a while. Alright guys, we're hooked up here. First fish of the day. Oh this is a big fish. That looked big on the live scope there. We got to eat. Super cool. So we'll take our time here. Got, got plenty of it, so I haven't even filmed an intro yet here guys. We've just got set up. I'm fishing with Eric Robbins. Buddy from work. Oh, dude, this day. That's a nice bite. That's a 35 inch plus for sure. Oh, dude, it's big. You gotta grab that. Okay. Oh. Okay, got him. Yeah. Just, uh. There are my pliers. We don't need them. I just want to get a better grip on this guy. Oh, yeah, he barely has it last time. You got a bump for it? You know what? I don't. It's, a, it's probably about 35 inch, kind of. I'd probably say so, 35, 36. That's right. Oh, hold the camera up here. She's all mine. I saw him on the live scope and he was just charging through. Yeah, it was crazy. It was such a good eat though. Oh, he's, he's gone. Soaked he us a bit. He was fighting hard. I'm not surprised he wanted to get out of here. Yeah. Well, I guess this is the start of the video. So anyway, <laughs> welcome back to Monster Angling. It is a chilly day out here in southern Saskatchewan. I'm out here with buddy from work, Eric Robbins. And we are out here today uh, fishing for walleyes actually. We're the only ones out here today. It is a cold day, no wind, but it's supposed to be windy later in the day, so we might have the spot all to ourselves. But anyway, we're gonna get some up here and catch some. We're gonna keep trucking. Yeah, keep trucking, catch some big ones. Yeah. I had to turn the camera on though. Go on, just come back. Oh. He hit it again. Go on. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, guys. Oh, I got him. Look at Got a pike here. A little smaller than Eric's, but still a fish. The eat was kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Kind of got him in the eye there a little. If we're gonna eat a fish today, not a bad eater pike, but we'll let him go. Cool, good eat, and we'll throw him back. Bye bye. Just bit that little uh, little rattlebait right there, a little wrap right there. Seems to do the trick in this murkier water, kind of a lighter, lighter colored wrap. Kind of looks like the bait fish are feeding on, so yeah, let's keep, keep fishing. Come on. No, he's coming up at it. He's just kind of off in the back. He's going to chase me down if he wants it. He's coming up to Yeah. He's gonna turn around again. There you go. There he is. That's. He kind of looks a little. No, oh, never mind. Yeah. I was gonna say you look smaller than your first one, but he looks bigger than the one I just caught. There you go. It's a bit better than my first one. I just don't like when they fight like that. That's scary. It's so scary. Come on. Ooh, mean head shakes. Dude, this fish down there right now, look at that. Coming 
There we go. Nice. Yeah, almost a cookie cutter. All right. Show you guys quickly here. Another one. About the same size. It was a cool eat though again. And right, come on, there you go. Right when we pulled them up, there was a bunch of fish on the bottom there. So maybe, maybe that's a sign of things to come. Let's get back down there and catch another one. Oh dude, there's fish down there. Hey guys, it's not a big walleye, but we caught a walleye here. He was chasing these white fish around and he came in so fast, I didn't have the camera on. But uh, it's a walleye and walleyes make me happy. I know it's not super big, but it's just nice to find one and maybe keep them and use his eyeballs for bait. Because if you don't know, they work so good. It's as easy as that. Didn't even really have to jig there. He just kind of came in following these white fish and absolutely crushed it. I figured he was going to be bigger because that's usually what the big walleyes do. Wrapped up here. There we go. Cool. Perfect eater. Probably a 16, 17 inch. Ow. Just gonna give you guys a little update here. Um, yeah, so I'm Eric. Paul introduced me earlier. Anyways, yeah, it's been pretty slow over the past, uh, about the past hour. So we've just been kind of getting some B-roll footage and chilling, so. I think it's gonna get good. I mean, I've had slow days out here and all of a sudden at like four, it's just, the fish are just shopping. I think it's the live scope that's screwing us up. I'm gonna bust out the hummingbird. Uh, <laughs> And uh, oh, fish Paul here. I've caught I caught the one big pike earlier, and he's caught three, so he's up he's up two on me. So I gotta play catch up a little bit. Come on, come on. You know you want it. You know you want. It. There we go. You got him. Yeah. That's what we like to see. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. Straight up through the hole. I push him out like really far. Does he look big? Get a release on this hog. It's a sauger though, because it has the splotches. They're just really light colored here in this part of the world. Goodbye. Well guys, we're starting to mark some more fish here now. Had a couple of bites and they stole my walleye eyeball and I put another one on. Walleye eyeballs are some of the best baits because they stay on your hook so good. But somehow that little fella managed to get, steal it anyway, so that's okay. But I got two, I'm on my second one now. They're perfectly legal to use here in Saskatchewan. Um, I don't know about everywhere though. I imagine there's some places you can't, but if you can, it is a heck of a bait. I'm gonna use this, work this spoon for about another hour and then if I'm still getting lots of looks but no hits, I'm probably gonna switch like a little, a little jig or something. Kind of downsize. Yeah, that's about all it's been. Looks but no hits, it's yeah. happened like six times. A lot of staring today. Another hook that I've been using lots, or I, I do use lots, is this hook right here. It is a little jig, it's called a T-Tot. Right here. And these things are also a really good option when the bite's a little finicky, more finicky. I haven't put it on today yet, but I'm thinking 
we'll see how prime time goes here and these work really good but see these hooks they actually do have a pretty pretty flexible hook on there i'm running a light action rod for this this is the royal flash by frostbite and a lot of people think it's crazy to run a light action rod for walleyes but you need a light rod for a hook like this because if you have too stiff of a rod um it's just going to bend your hook out as soon as you hook into something half decent so and not only that it's the sensitivity aspect too right so but yeah picking the right rod for the right lure goes a long long way yeah boys oh. oh yeah he inhaled that yeah another one not big oh she's bleeding yeah it's okay it'll be okay the cold water will uh, coagulate that that bleeding really quick here. There. All right. She's gone. He just marked an absolute hog, and then that little guy came in and crushed it. But it's uh, four o'clock now, so should be should be picking up here. Getting into prime time. Prime time. And guys, after you catch those little, there's a pike or fish coming in under me. He's coming on me right now. Hang down. Nope. Oh, big under me. Anyway, guys, sorry, I'm getting distracted here. Um, when you catch a pike, I'm not the first person to say this, but you can really, really see how frayed that line got just from those teeth. And if I were to catch a eight, ten pound wall on that, there's a really good chance that that line could snap completely. So I'm gonna retie. And while I'm retying, Eric's gonna catch all the fish that are down there right now. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna pull that line. Let's go transducer there. Yep. I don't think it's as big as yours, but I mean. Oh, you know, you got a fighter for sure. That's a big one. It's also on a light action rod, too. Medium light, actually. Whew. Well, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm gonna... That's scary when they do that. I don't like that one bit. I think it's just uh, a little bigger than Eric's. Don't you say that. <laughs> Don't you say that. I want to have the biggest fish of the day. Should everyone say, not bigger than Eric's. Dude, I don't even know. Cause like, we Don't never really got a good look at them. It was, it looked small on the live scope. It looks small. That eat's going to be freaking sick though. I barely turned the camera on in time, but I got it on in time. Then again, mine fought like this. Not bad at all. It's like about the size of mine. Oh, dude, he choked it. Choked. Okay, he choked it, and I don't know if we're gonna get him in. Oh, frick. I don't even know what the worst part is. The fact that he choked, the fact that this is a big fish, and we don't even have a freaking bump for it. Dude, it's big. It's big. That's big. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can get it out, I think. Okay, the hook's actually not. That's so much bigger than I figured. I don't know. It's, I think it's about, I don't know if it's longer, but it's definitely fatter. Yeah. All right, guys, there he is. Chunker. Chunker, chunker, chunker. That eat was awesome. He's so fat for his size, or for his length. Eric's was too though. Like they're just. I'm just wondering if it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We really pissed them off so yeah. much. Awesome. Well, that might stir up the spot for a good while, but maybe now that he's gone, the uh, big old walleyes will come in and feed. I hope so. Fingers crossed. All right, boys. Our uh, live school cam is dead at the moment. We gotta fish slithering in here on the bottom. Oh! Mm. Alright guys, that might be a wrap on um, the 
live scope cam for today, unfortunately. I didn't want to have to come to this, but the camera's like dead. <coughs> so, yeah, I'm sorry, but not much I can do. I, I have nothing against Pike, but I just really don't like catching little ones. Yeah, brother. For their eyes, though. There we go. Beautiful. Look, I caught another one, guys. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Oh, caught one. Oh, never mind. Same fish. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. I'm gonna pull my transducer. Pull off it. You go. Oh, nice. On the Wonder Bread. On the Wonder Bread. How is that even possible? Get out of here. It's prime time, boys and girls. Oh, he gave it a nibble again. No, I got him. Yeah, brother. There you go. Uh, probably about the same. Let a feller know if you need a hand. It's a little bit bigger. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We caught ourselves another uh, Wally. Yep. Eric is catching some fish again. It's good. Come on, buddy. Don't go anywhere. All right. Do some talking. All okay, right. Well, nice little, we're going to call him Walter the Walleye. Oh, no. Okay. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. I got a comment. Met a guy at the Winnipeg Ice Fishing Show, and he wanted me to dedicate a fish to him. Mm. So we we're actually gonna name him Phil. He even commented on my last video. This is now Phil, okay? This is Phil the Walleye. Phil, this one's for you, okay? This one's for you. Okay, we'll put him back. We're gonna release you, Phil. Okay? There you go. I promised. Anyway, guys. Just one second, I need to chew. We're probably gonna give it about five, 10 more minutes here, and then we're gonna pack up. It was not a pike targeting day. We didn't even set tip ups up. We caught pike. We caught walleyes too. But um, I don't like condemn trying to catch pike on light action rods. Um, it's not awesome. If it happens, it happens. But it happens. And the place we're fishing today, you can catch big everything. And all we can do is Try to be quick with them. I mean, neither of those pike are out of the water for more than 30 seconds. So, um, we're good there. And caught some awesome fish today. But we're going to keep fishing a little longer. I want to catch one more walleye. The roads are supposed to be kind of bad. Driving here. Oh, dude, there's a fish down there. Give us one second. There was bad drifts on the road today. Like, really bad. I, if I would have known the roads were as bad as they were this morning, we would not have came. But we came anyway. It's a good thing we did. Oh yeah. It's a pretty good day of fishing. Not bad. It started out it started out pretty good and then it slowed down quite a bit and then it picked up. So I'm not I don't know. It, I'm I'm glad we came. Yeah. I think it was a win. That's a win. Definitely not like the hottest fishing ever. Anyway, we're gonna keep fishing. And uh I'm gonna clean up here soon. But like I said, one more. One more fish, hopefully. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a great day out there with Eric. It was a lot of fun. He's a great guy. Uh, and next time I will definitely let him catch more fish. Just kidding. I lucked out and caught a couple more than him, but that's just how fishing goes sometimes. I'm sure next time we go out, he's gonna outfish me like crazy and we're gonna be having a completely different conversation. But yeah, we had some great underwater eats on the live scope. I'm super pumped I finally got to take it out and do some filming on it for you guys and film some of those crazy underwater eats when those pike were coming in. That was pretty, 
pretty crazy. But anyway guys, I just wanna say a huge thank you to you guys for all the support on the channel recently. Since my last video, I have gained 100 subscribers, which is like a week ago. And that video is at like 5,400 views. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, you know, we're getting pretty close to my thousand subscriber milestone, which I kind of set for myself at the start of this. Like, yeah, everyone wants to be super big, but a thousand subscribers is like, you know, that I just feel like that's, that's just such a big milestone for anyone. It's when you get monetized, all that jazz. And, you know, we're, we're slowly but surely pushing our way to there and you know, if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you guys stuck around and subscribe. It is free. You know, you can come along on my journey this winter. I'm going to be putting a ton of content out for you guys. Um, I have a ton of time on my hands. I'm just looking forward to going, getting out there on the ice and doing what I love and, you know, sharing my experiences to you guys on this platform. So yeah, if you guys are heading out anytime soon, please be careful out there. I know. For the most part, the ice is safe, but you can never 100% guarantee that where you're going is safe. Please take a spud bar. Please keep your ice picks um, on. If you're going to a place you haven't been yet this season, I know it is getting later into December and it's cold out, but I do also know of places that are still open water. So please take those safety precautions because no fish is worth your guys' lives. But anyway, I'm gonna put a wrap on this video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care out there, stay safe. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next fishing adventure. Take care, peace out.